Hi, and welcome to this Leverage Technologies Overview of Approval Procedures in SAP Business One. When it comes to using approval procedures, you may have many and varied uses. You might uh, want to run appro approval procedures on sales orders, for example. So a sales order where the gross profit is lower than a certain percentage needs approval by a sales manager. Or a sales order that comes through with a discount greater than a certain value or percentage needs approval by a sales manager or an operations manager. You may want approval procedures on stock transfers or a very commonly used one would be approval procedures on purchase orders. So a user, Brett, for example, can place purchase orders up to $1,000, but beyond $1,000 requires approval by a manager. Or Brett can place purchase orders providing it's within budget. Anything beyond budget requires approval. So let's look at how this might work with an everyday example. I'm currently logged into SAP Business One as Janet Scott. I'm going to go in and place a purchase order. So let's go into the purchase order screen. I'm going to call up a supplier and I'm going to call up an item, the JB Office Print 1420, and I'm going to order 100 of those. The order total is $25,000. Janet only has approval for $1,000 of purchase orders. And as we hit the add button, I can see the pop up for authorizations appears and says generating this document requires the authorization of other users. Janet now has the option to leave some remarks. So let's say, please authorize her discussion this morning, Smith Street project. Okay, and add that into the system. Now that draft purchase order has gone through to the manager as part of the workflow. So let's now log into the system as the manager. So we'll go and change the user. We'll log in now as a different user who happens to, in terms of this workflow, be the manager. And immediately as we log in, we see the request for document approval in the manager's inbox. Purchase order based on draft number 450. Now, as with typical SAP Business One functionality, the arrows represent drill downs. So I can quite easily now go and drill down to this purchase order to have a look at it. So in my inbox has appeared the request for approval from Janet. As the manager, I now drill down. I can see that this purchase order from Janet Scott is requiring approval. It's currently pending. There's Janet's notes. Please authorize per discussion this morning's mystery project. I can, of course, at this point in time, drill down to the actual document to get the document detail. I can see the item. I can see the open quantity, the in-stock and committed quantity, and the ordered quantity to give me some additional background information. If I want, I can drill down to the supplier, the contact person at the supplier, or the item. So let's go back in now, and we will, in fact, approve this. Thanks, CapEx. Three, four, four, five, three. Now that I update that document, the approval will go through. Janet will get notification that that purchase order has now been approved. So typical workflow, Janet put through the request, put through some remarks, the manager went in and approved the purchase order. Let's just have a look at a couple of other aspects associated with that. Let's go into administration. We'll go into the approval procedures menu. A couple of things to notice. I can get an approval status report, which are pending, which are generated, which are approved, which have been rejected. I can get an approval decision report, rejected and approved POs, for example. So great, some great reporting around those sorts of aspects. But let's have a quick look at how we set up the approval in the first place, because it's really simple to set these up in SAP Business One. Firstly, I create an approval stage. So in this instance, for POs above 1,000, I had one stage of approval where the authorizer is Brett. And then in the template, all I did is I went in and I said, for POs greater than $1,000, where the document is created by Tom or Janet, 
and it is in fact a purchase order. I want one stage of approval where the document total is greater than $1,000. So very, very simple to set this up. And of course, not just on purchase orders, but on multiple different documents, delivery notes, returns, AR credit memos, stock transfers, payments, etc., outgoing payments. So multiple different areas where I can set up approval procedures in SAP Business One. Now, I also just want to touch on one other little extension that the team at Leverage has done to this functionality. Let's just go into this email. And what I can see here is that the team at Leverage has also created email alerts to go to the authorizer to remind them about an authorization that's due. So in this instance, this one was done a couple of days ago, but draft 391, microchips, New South Wales, shipping to Brisbane, and there are some items that required approval. So again, just a little extension, very simple, but sending out that email reminder to the user uh, that they need to, in fact, go in and authorize that purchase order. So thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there are a number of other presentations and blogs available on the Leverage website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful.